The DC Comics will have a new comic book line, much like Marvel's Ultimate Universe, called Absolute Comics, will be part of DC All In, and will be led by Scott Snyder. This is the news of the moment, so stay until the end of the video to get all the details. Welcome to Comic Chronicles. Today's news comes from the Bleeding Cool News site, which has been right about a lot involving DC Comics. The article states that a new publishing initiative from DC Comics will begin in 2024 and 2025, where this new universe called Absolute Comics will be a new chronology, separate from the main chronology we already follow. Scott Snyder, writer of several comics such as Batman, Dark Knights, Metal, Dark Knights, Death Metal, Justice League, and many other titles will oversee this new universe, whose goal is to reinvent the great characters of the publisher without chronological constraints, starting from scratch. The article also mentions that the idea is to prioritize great authors. Although the creative teams are not yet known, the article speculates that Mark Wade will likely be involved and that Scott Snyder himself will probably write some titles. In the 2000s, Marvel introduced the Ultimate Marvel Universe, where many of its most famous characters were reinvented with a modern twist. This was very successful, especially because of the Ultimate Spider-Man and Ultimate X-Men comics. Currently, Marvel has brought back the Ultimate Universe, but it is not the same as the one that started back in the 2000s. It's something new, where Jonathan Hickman is writing the new Spider-Man comic. In it, Peter Parker is already an adult, married to Mary Jane, and has two children, unlike the main 616 universe. DC has tried several times to reboot its universe since Crisis on Infinite Earths. It has been trying to attract new readers and streamline the work of creative minds since the publisher has been releasing comics since 1938. Earth One is an example of a universe that tried to reimagine characters without chronological constraints but it didn't go ahead, as the comics took too long to be released. The New 52 also tried to reboot the DC Universe. The problem is that the reboot only applied to some characters. Others had chronological issues because DC tried to mix elements from the post-crisis into this universe. Batman, for example, suffered from this, and as a result, had several chronological inconsistencies. Since the idea is not to reboot the main line, but to create a new line from scratch alongside the one we are already following. It could be a very good thing. Although many hate it when a comic is published as a first edition, it brings success in comic sales to the publisher, both Marvel and DC, and DC Comics plans to take advantage of the next 10 years of copyright before the original comics become public domain. The article concludes that DC All In will not be a reboot or a reset but rather a continuation of what is being done in Dawn of DC, just like DC Rebirth did with the New 52. The main chronology will continue as normal, and we will also have this new parallel chronology. Absolute Comics is a new shared universe by great comic talents, all included in DC All In. What do you think of the news? I like this innovation. There may indeed be great stories in Absolute Comics, but I hope they have learned from past mistakes and don't try to mix things up, and also hope that the events in the stories are definitive. After all, we know that everything in comics is reverted to the status quo, and many people don't like that. Now I want to know your opinion. Write in the comments what you think about this. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you're always up to date with comic news. Thank you very much to you for watching the video this far. See you in the next video.